Just stand there. Fill my basket with candy, you... <laughs> Give me your candy, turtle! Uh, annoying children in messy streets. This is why I hate days like this. <sighs> what are you looking at, kid? Sorry, but I don't have any candy for you. Go bother someone else. <laughs> you scared me. Wow. You really worked hard on that costume, didn't you? Promised. Hmm? You promised. Right around this time. The last night of October, that we would meet again. What do you mean? You forgot again, didn't you? Let me help you remember. So you can go back to feeling how you used to feel. Endorsey! Endorsey! Where could that dumb girl be? It's almost noon already! Ow! My head... Where... Endorsey! Get out here! Why that little... Who was that? How dare you call my honored name in vain! How dare we? How dare we what? You dull! Slow nitwit! You're talking back to us now, are you? Uh... Huh? You'd better get up now! Were you dreaming or something? D d dreaming Yeah... This has to be a dream. Not just any dream. A really, really terrible dream. There. I'm in Dorsey. No last name or anything. Just in Dorsey. Filthy, dim witted in Dorsey. Soot covered kitchen maid in Dorsey. Did you just say? Who the hell is saying that? That's what my sisters call me, and I think they're right. I always make mistakes, and I'm not good at anything at all. That might explain why I'm most comfortable in this barn. Tidying up the place and being at my sister's beck and call. That must be why I was born. <laughs> wait, wait. What the hell is this awful narration? Ta-da! The thing that made Endorsey the happiest was when she cooked for her sisters. But why am I doing whatever this narrator says? Hmm? Ah! <laughs> Look at her! Hey! 
You got my shoes wet! Do you even know how much these cost? <sighs> and Dorsey hated herself for dirtying her sister's shoes. <sighs> Yet shamelessly, she was hungry. Oh, right! You need to eat something! The youngest of her older sisters was also the kindest to Endorsey. I'll kill her. Dream or not, I should just murder her. Please, stop. If you keep causing a ruckus in someone else's dream, you may end up trapped in their subconscious. Uh, uh, uh. Please, come to the barn now. I will explain everything. Um. Welcome, young miss. Who are you? I am the most esteemed and benevolent dream guardian. I help those such as yourself who've become lost in circuitous dreams. Most esteemed and been a what? That's a mouthful. I'll just call you Metal Eel. Oh, right then. So, tell me more. We are inside a dream of the one I serve. It was a peaceful day like any other. Until your sudden intrusion. How did you get in here? The entrance was closed long ago. Oh, well... You forgot again, didn't you? Don't worry. Let me help you remember. Oh, right! I met this strange kid earlier. I told her to go away because I didn't have any candy. Then she said she'd help me remember something. And when I woke up, I found myself here. Hmm. I don't know for what reason, but it seems that child has put a curse on you. You should have been nicer to others. I could kill you, Metal! Uh, him? How nice of them to house and feed a poor orphan girl like me. And Dorsey was moved by their kindness. Damn it! Again! <laughs> 